Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will show you how to create a grade tracker like this one in Excel. During my time at university this grade tracker helped me track my progress but also served as an important source of motivation by showing me how far off I was from my desired grades. As you can see this grade tracker lists all of your modules, how much of the modules you've completed, your current grade in each one, as well as your expected or desired grade. Based on these values, we can then calculate the grade you must achieve in the rest of the module to achieve your expected grade. There's also a section outlining how many days are left till your next deadline. Using this table, we can then determine your overall weighted average current grade, expected grade, and the percentage of the academic year completed. Let me walk you through how you can create a grade tracker like this one yourself. Upon filling in the first three columns, we can then calculate the grade required in the remainder of the module to achieve your desired grade. To do this, we will have to rearrange this formula over here, which says that our expected grade is a weighted average of the grade already achieved and the grade required in the remainder of the module. Therefore, to calculate the grade required, we need to make GR the subject as follows. So we open brackets, we take the expected grade, and we subtract the current grade multiplied by the percentage of the module completed. We then close brackets and divide this by the percentage of the module left to complete, which is one minus the percentage of the module completed. Therefore, this 75% over here shows that we need to achieve a grade of 75% in the remaining 80% of our Finance 1 module to achieve our desired grade of 73%. Next, we can calculate the days left to our next deadline for each module. This is going to be the date of the deadline minus today's days, and we can calculate this as follows. So we take the next deadline date and we subtract today, open brackets, close brackets. Now, as you can see, these are all in the wrong format. To make them in the right format, we can click Control-1, and then we can click on General and click Enter. We can now calculate the current and expected overall grades as well as the percentage of the academic year completed. To calculate the current grade, we're going to want to find the weighted average of all of the grades already achieved. In other words, we will take the current grade and multiply it by the percentage of the module completed for each module. We will then divide this by the total of the percentage of module completed column. We can do this as follows. So equals sum product we're going to take the first array, which is the percentage of the module completed, and then we're going to take the second array, which is the current grade. Next, we're going to divide this by the total of the percentage of the module completed column, and this can simply be found using the sum function. So we take sum, open brackets, and we take the percentage of the module completed column. We can then close brackets and click enter. Therefore, as you can see, our current grade is 65.3%. Calculating the expected grade is simpler, as the expected grade assumes that we have completed 100% of the module. Therefore, here we can simply find the average of the expected grade column by using the average function as follows. Therefore, expected or desired grade is 69.8%, meaning that we are currently underperforming as our current grade is 65.3%. Now, to calculate the percentage of the whole academic year completed, we find the total percentage of the individual modules completed and then divide this by the number of modules. This can be done using the sum and count functions. So first of all, we take the total of the percentage of the module completed column and then we divide this by the number of modules. Therefore, we have completed 27.5% of the academic year and our current grade based on the work we have completed is 65.3%. Next, we can illustrate our current and expected grades for each module in the chart. Starting with the current grade, let us first select the module column and then while pressing down control, also select the current grade column. Let's then click insert and select this chart icon over here. We can then select the following design and also add data labels. Now to create our expected grade chart, we can simply take this chart over here, copy it, and then paste it again over here. We can now right click on it, click on select data, and remove this part over here. 
and we can follow the same process again, selecting first of all the module column, and then while pressing down control, we can instead select the expected grade column. We can then click OK, and as you can see, we're provided over here with an expected grade chart. So that's how you can easily create a grade tracker in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.